Hello, welcome to my channel, Out of the Mage. Uh, this is a general reading in regards to love for Pisces. It is general, so it might not resonate for you. If it does, I'd really love to hear about it. If you could like the video or post a comment below, I would really appreciate that. Um, if you're comfortable doing so. <laughs> if the reading does not resonate for you, I do really appreciate you stopping in to check, but if it doesn't, then I'm sure there is a reading out there that will resonate for you. So I encourage you to seek that out. Uh, and if a portion of it resonates, but not the whole thing, then don't try to force the whole reading. Just take what resonates for you and leave the rest behind. So we're starting here with the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck. We're trying to draw a card for your energy towards the connection, Pisces. And then we're going to draw a card for their energy. So we got... For you, we got the frog there, which is water energy. Can we get a card for the person connecting with Pisces? Oh, we get the bee, which is air energy. That's so bright and <laughs> happy looking, isn't it? The bee card. The, actually, they have very similar coloring, lots of green and yellows in them. I'm going to go ahead and read from the book just because I, I really like to read the message. I think it can give more information than if I just tell you what I remember of the card, you know? So let me go ahead and find those real quick. Frog. So for your energy, we get clearing, cleansing, healing. The frog and the water element are almost inseparable. The frog spends its first months of life entirely within this healing element and then emerges to rest on land. But no matter how earthly the frog becomes, its need for cleansing and rejuvenation is regular. Frogs tend to become overworked and undernourished, so it's vital that such sensitive creatures practice self-care. This card serves as a reminder that water helps us cleanse, forgive, and release. Time to dive in. Frogs aren't meant to carry a heavy load. And it says when you're in balance, you'll feel like you have clear energy and enthusiasm for life. But when you're out of balance, you'll feel really depleted and like you're running on empty. So if you find yourself out of balance, it suggests that you spend time near water, lake, river, ocean, or bathhouse. Take a nice bath. <laughs> okay, and then for them, we have bee energy. So that, the, as far as your energy towards the connection, it may be that you feel overwhelmed. It may be that you feel, yeah, like you kind of need a second to yourself. Um... Or it may be that you've just, you know, you've just cleansed, you've just healed yourself and cleared out past energy. And now you're in this, this frog energy where you feel very clear and you feel very enthusiastic. So however that resonates for you, let's read theirs, B energy. Actually, I think the B is very similar kind of. Um... You know, all about teamwork until they get overworked. Yeah, earnest, hardworking, and democratic. The bee personality is a delight to be around, especially when there's a team project on the horizon. Bees love to work steadily and thoughtfully until the final task is complete. They are sensitive creatures aware of many subtleties at once. Since they are artists at heart, they usually add creative details to the overall vision. For the most part, they have bustling, joyous personalities until they're too tired from all the work, then they gripe and then sting. So if you're a cross watcher here, it says when you're in balance, you feel content, active, and vibrant, but when you're out of balance, you feel overworked and annoyed. So if you are interested in bringing yourself in balance, it says to take a vacation, a little vacation. It doesn't have to be a big one, but get away. And if you're both feeling overwhelmed, <laughs> then it might be a good idea to go find a body of water together <laughs> and, and spend some time just chilling and having fun together instead of piling on all of whatever is heavy. This time of year can just be heavy because it's the holidays and we're focused so much on doing for others. And, um, and that's great. It's really important to do that. It's very important to be generous, but uh, sometimes we need to take a moment for ourselves. So if you are, if that's resonating for you, then maybe the two of you need to take a minute. You know? Let's now, we're going to use the tarot here to take a look at how they feel about you and what their intentions are towards you. So can we get three cards 
How does this person feel? How does this person feel about Pisces? So the first card right off the bat is the Ten of Pentacles, which is really great energy as far as feeling. It's feeling right at home. Not just right at home, but really committed, really um three of pentacles which is about teamwork it's about wanting to build with someone and wanting to it's about that base that foundation that you build that ten of pentacles on you start with the three of pentacles building and working together it's a card of cooperation and teamwork can i get one more card how does this person feel about pisces please Oh. One more card. How do they feel about Pisces? The Ten of Pentacles also is a feeling of security, you know? That's so... Uh, the Queen of Pentacles here is what we got. This is all Earth energy. All Earth energy. So you might be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or Capricorn. But yeah, this talks very clearly of commitment they want they feel at home with you they feel safe with you not just safe like physically safe but emotionally safe because they feel like this um uh, that's not the right way to phrase it emotionally safe isn't right but they feel like like neither of you is going anywhere you know they feel safe in that way and with the three of pentacles if, if this is a newer relationship, then they want to build up to that. They feel this way about you, and so they want to work towards that. And they feel like they can with you. This, as, as a feeling, they feel like we can be a team. You know, we can work this out together. We can figure it out together. We can build it together. We have that capability. And then the Queen of Pentacles is, um, I mean, she's very nurturing. She's very loving and she really just wants to help things grow. She's very supportive energy and very committed energy. Again, so that's like three cards that are talking about commitment right there. Can we get three cards for their intentions? What are their intentions towards Pisces, please? What are their intentions? Whoa. Oh no, that's like seven cards. Sorry, I can't do it. <laughs> we have the Nine of Cups here, which is about a wish, but also about celebrating. And we get the Temperance card here, which is Sagittarius energy, so you might be dealing with the Sagittarius. It's a lot of cards. Come on, give me one more card, please. One more card. How? What are their intentions towards Pisces, please? One more card. So yeah, the Nine of Cups is about wish, wish fulfillment, okay? It's about having everything you want. And it is also about celebration. And the, the Temperance card is... Um, so many so we get the two of cups which is great as far as intentions that's okay so back to the temperance card sorry the temperance card is about seeking balance you know and accepting that that might take time it's about patience and they're being patient because they want to make it perfect you know they want to balance it out and make it perfect the two of cups here this is about an exchange of love it's not just one-sided it's both sided you know it's both of you um sharing your cups with each other we also get the queen of swords which is somebody who this is air energy like that bee so that's um aquarius gemini and Libra. So you might be dealing with one of those signs, but the Queen of Swords is just someone who is going to be very firm about what she wants. You know, she's not going, there's no, there's no wiggle room with her. This is what I want and this is how it needs to be. And if you can't do that, then I'm not afraid to walk away kind of energy. But, but based off of the other stuff here, they're not walking away. They're just going to be very firm with you about what they want and what they need. And then we also get the Ace of Wands. 
which is a new passionate beginning. So uh, perhaps you have had a long friendship and now they're wanting to push it into something more that I could see that playing out with what's happening here. But I mean, not necessarily, but this is about a new passionate beginning, which for me, I don't know that card is like, it's like, um, it's very enthusiastic, it's very confident, and it's it's uh, very physical energy, in my opinion. So like wanting to, if things, if you're in a relationship with someone and you're committed to that person and you have been for a while, then maybe this is like a reigniting of a flame, you know, like lighting the fires up again. So that might be part of their intentions there. So underneath the deck here, we have the Two of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. And this is about balancing things, you know, like keeping keeping the boats afloat, you know, keeping everything above water. So it's about managing, trying to manage everything. This is an offer of a commitment. Like this is really the first step of that Three of Pentacles and that Ten of Pentacles. You know, you first come over and, and you offer that commitment. You you state it clearly and you share it. And then the Three of Cups is a celebration. So it's having a good time and laughing and just, I mean, their intentions towards you are positive, very positive and, and happy. And they, they just want to, they want to have fun. They want to have passion and love. I mean, this is a really good, this right here, let's just say I wish it were my reading, okay? <laughs> my reading doesn't look like this. My reading is messier. Oh, I'm going to clarify. Sorry. Let's clarify. I don't really have a lot of questions here, to be honest. I really don't like to clarify when I already feel like the reading is clear because sometimes you just muddy up the water. You know, you just make it, you make it complicated where it doesn't need to be complicated. But yeah, it just feels so clear as far as their feelings for you. I really don't feel like there's any kind of confusion or question about what's being stated there. Stated there. I am curious about the Queen of Swords, so we're going to go ahead and clarify that one. Can we clarify this Queen of Swords? Please clarify the Queen of Swords for um, this person's intentions towards Pisces. The Page of Swords, the Hangman, the Hierophant, oh wow, and the Knight of Cups, okay. So the Page of Swords is someone who is uh, investigating something, okay? They're very curious about something, they're trying to, they come across, this card is often considered the Stalker card because this person's like looking for answers, but not like clearly stating their question kind of thing. They're, it's kind of standoffish, so they're not like, necessarily vocalizing it, but also pages can be messengers. So it's possible that there's a message, but I don't think so. I think this is, they're very curious about something. They're unsure. The hanged man is very, they know what they want, but they're not doing anything to get there. They're hanging there. So it's very like stagnant. It's very, you know, frozen kind of energy. Okay. Then we get the hierophant, which is Taurus energy. So you might be dealing with a Taurus um, yeah, I said all those signs. Yeah. Uh, but the Hierophant is about moving forward. It's about following the proper steps, you know, taking the next step, following the path, going in order, following what is expected of you. You know, it's about all of that, about the proper steps. So it's often considered a marriage card because in a relationship, that'd be a major step. I don't, I mean, it could be, you know, declaring that you're seeing only each other, you're exclusive. It could be moving in together. It could be uh, getting married. It could be having a baby. It's whatever they consider the next step of the relationship, okay? And then this Knight of Cups, which is someone who wants to rush forward and and they want to they want to sweep you off your feet. They want to um, they want to be romantic, you know? And I feel like this person, it, it, that's what they want. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. And I think either they want that from you, 
uh, because this page, this Queen of Swords, she's clear about what she wants, you know, what she's looking for, and she wants that something. And I don't think that she's rushing out to give out her heart, but this may be underlying, like this is what's under. She's coming across as kind of cold-ish, but she wants to give so much more. But I, I don't read this person that way. They feel very especially with their intentions here, it feels like they want to be open with you and they want that reciprocated to them. They're looking for the the same gestures back towards them, but they kind of feel like you you maybe don't want that next step. Like you are this hanged man just sitting there because you, you're not sure if you want to take that next step. So um, that's how I'm reading this. I want to take a look at the temperance, which really is just them being willing to wait for what they're looking for because, well, being willing to wait because they, they want to make sure that it's going to be perfect. Okay, let's see here. What do we get? The temperance card clarified by the temperance card. Yeah. I just feel like they, I, I, temperance can sometimes be tied to healing, but I don't think there's healing that needs to happen here. This doesn't feel like uh, that sort of connection. The temperance really is about patience, though, and I feel like they are willing to be patient, but they, they, they're committed, and they, they have all of this really hopeful, like, positive energy coming towards you, so this is a pretty great reading, I gotta say, Pisces. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get a card, a message to you from the universe. Uh, let's see here. Thank you so much for watching this video, by the way. I really hope that it resonated for you. And if it did, if it did, please like the video or post a comment below uh, because I'd really like to hear that it resonated for you. I'd like to hear in what way it did. So uh, please do that if you wouldn't mind, if you feel comfortable doing it. The message from the universe is joy is the ultimate creator. So if there's something here that you're trying to manifest, then... Um, yeah, manifesting from joy, that's the best place to start, you know, when you're f afraid or scared or hurt, and you try to manifest a positive thing from that, it's really confusing to the universe, because you're saying, like, you're, you're saying one thing, but you're, like, sending out waves of something else, and so that's confusing, you really need to Bring yourself to calm and find joy in the situation. Find joy in your now situation so that you can focus on that joy and use it to create more joy for yourself. So, uh, yeah, remember to move forward with positive thoughts and positive words because we manifest what we're thinking and what we're saying. And so remember to be generous and remember to be grateful so we can draw in more things to be grateful for and more ways to be generous with the people we love. So remember, if you're that frog and you're feeling overwhelmed and they're that bee and they're feeling overwhelmed, if they've stung you recently, <laughs> they definitely didn't mean to be, um, they didn't mean to be harsh. They definitely have very, all positive things all positive energy towards you and so they just need a vacation so and you might need a vacation so just take that time for yourselves if this reading resonates for you then that is the advice i feel that should be shared here so anyway thank you so much for watching the video truly truly means so much to me so thank you i hope that you have a beautiful day and i hope that i see you back here again in the future bye